so hi everyone welcome back to data science in a pocket and today we are discussing a very interesting paper released by tingshua university that is continuous autoregressive language models and it might make LLMs, large language models that we use today, obsolete. Yes, you heard it right. The paper is released by Tencent and WeChat AI. And it introduces a, a very interesting concept and helps us overcome the limitation of LLM, that is prediction per token. So in this short video, I would be explaining you what the paper is all about, summarizing the key details, not jumping much into the mathematics, but to give you a brief idea what continuous autoregressive language models that is calm means so let's get started continuous autoregressive language models calm by by llms they are faster more efficient and better performance so first of all let's understand what is the limitation with current llms so current llms predicts one token at a time now once you are generating a huge paragraph a huge book this is painful burning billions of flops every step each token carries only 15 to 18 bits of information. The bottleneck is unit of prediction, not model size. The unit of prediction is very, very small. And when you want a huge output, it is a big problem. What is the solution? Calm. So instead of predicting tokens, we should now start predicting continuous vector. Now, what is this continuous vector? This continuous vector is a combination of multiple tokens so basically you're compressing multiple tokens into one vector and then eventually making the llm predict another vector which is a combination of tokens reduces generation steps by factor of k and same quality with less computation so where k equals to the number of tokens that you are combining together for the vector so what is the first step the first step is compressing tokens into vector obviously yes so we would be using an auto encoder neural network that compresses k tokens into one vector. In the paper they have mentioned that they have got 99.9 .9 reconstruction accuracy. That means they converted the combination of tokens into vector and then from the vector back to the token they are able to get everything. Uses variational techniques and creates smooth semantic manifold in latent space. So the first step is to take the token idea and then eventually merge multiple tokens into a single vector using an auto encoder. The second step is predicting vectors instead of tokens. Now I think you might have understood what we are trying to achieve here. Models language as sequence of vectors rather than sequence of tokens. So as you can see on the screen, vector sequence modeling is happening. V1, V2, V3. One point to remember is that they won't be using any softmax now because there is no probability that is getting calculated. They use likelihood free training and compares vectors in continuous space. Energy based generative head. I think this is quite interesting that I would be trying to cover in the upcoming videos as well separately. It's a lightweight MLP based module, refines random noise into output vectors and generate vectors in single step, fast and more stable than diffusion. So it can be taken as a variant of diffusion and flow matching but much faster and reducing more less using less steps. They are also using a new metric called as barrier LM. So basically you if for evaluating LM performance, you require metrics like perplexity, but perplexity works on probabilities. Now, if you have already mentioned in calm, there are no probabilities coming out because we are predicting vectors. So in that case, they have come up with a new metric called as rear LM derived from Breeders' score in forecasting and strongly correlates with cross entropy. I'm not jumping much into details of the metric. You can check it out in the paper itself. Sampling without probabilities. As mentioned, there are no logits to perform because there is no probability getting generated. It's just the vectors. It uses rejection-based sampling. Low temperature accepts only when samples are matching. High temperature batch-based approximation happens. What are the numbers? Let's talk about the numbers now. So calm L, 40% fear flops versus transformer L. Calm M, 2 cross more efficient versus transformer S. Scale smoothly to large models. Optimal chunk sizes K equals to 4 for efficiency. As you can see now as the token sizes increase also like for example compression, the performance decreases. As you can see for K equals to 8, the performance is not that good. 
Auto encoder efficiency. You might be thinking that how efficient is the auto encoder? It is quite small, 75 million parameters, and has minimal impact on the compute. Quite fast as well. Scaling up doesn't improve performance. Compression is simple to solve. So the idea is quite novel. If you notice, just combine multiple tokens into vectors. So it's not that complicated to implement. Also, generative have comparison as I already mentioned. Instead of using diffusion or flow matching, they have used energy hat, and this is the whole comparison that you can check it out. Why energy hat can be used? It's very fast. What does this change? Semantic bandwidth. New scaling access for language models now. Basically, in LLMs can be very very fast now because they are generating vectors, not tokens. Each step carries more meaning. Keeps transform backbone, but changes target. Eliminates massive soft max over vocabulary. Scaling access for language models is model size, data volume, or semantic bandwidth. Broader implement uh, implications increase information density per step. Elegant principle with powerful impact redefines the core unit of language modeling. Breaks the structural bottleneck of token generation. Make each step represent more meaning. Borderline the takeaways. Calm changes what a token even means. Now a token means a vector. Next phase of LM evolution is coming out smarter generation, not just the parameters, and from discrete tokens to continuous vectors. Instead of more GPUs, maybe what we need is fewer steps. So this is what the paper is all about. I think now you have a overview of what the paper does. You can go and read about it more. It's trending right now, and you should definitely give it a shot. Thank you so much.